Welcome to another episode of Terry's Notes and today we are going to be looking at metals and their properties. Now physical properties of metals. They are good conductors of electricity. They are good conductors of heat. They are malleable meaning that you can reshape a metal. They are ductile meaning that you can stretch it to form a wire and they are shiny when freshly cut. Now group one metals are soft. They can cut be cut with a knife and have very a very low density. Mercury is a metal and is a liquid at room temperature. Chemical properties of metals. Metals react with oxygen to produce an oxide. So for example, magnesium plus oxygen produces MgO or magnesium oxide. Second property, metals high up in the electrochemical series react with cold water to produce a metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas. So sodium plus water produces sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Metals a little lower in the electrochemical series do not react with cold water but has to react with steam in order to form re reacts with steam to produce a metal oxide instead of the hydroxide and hydrogen gas. So magnesium plus water well sorry magnesium plus steam produces magnesium oxide and hydrogen gas. Another property is that metals above hydrogen in the electrochemical series react with acids to produce a salt and hydrogen gas. Copper, silver and gold are below hydrogen in the electrochemical series and do not react with dilute hydrochloric acid. Chemical properties of metal compounds. Okay, so reactions with oxides. Zinc oxide plus sulfuric acid. This is a base plus an acid. We're going to get a salt and water, in which case we get zinc sulfate and water. Reaction with hydroxides. Magnesium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid produces magnesium chloride and water. Reaction with carbonates. Example here is Calcium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid produces calcium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide. Thermal decomposition. So, okay. So, if we look at nitrates, sodium and potassium nitrates decompose on heating to produce a nitrite and oxygen gas. Now you need to know this equation. So sodium nitrate when heated produces sodium nitrite and oxygen gas. The nitrates of metals lower down in the electrochemical series decompose on heating to produce a metal oxide, nitrogen dioxide gas and oxygen gas. So we have a slightly different reaction taking place from metals lower down in the electrochemical series. So we have 2 PbNO3 taken twice produces when heated produces 2 PbO plus 4 NO2 plus O2. This is an important equation as well. You need to be able to write it and balance it as well. Now thermal decomposition of carbonates. Sodium and potassium carbonates do not decompose on heating. But the carbonates of metals lower down in electrochemical series decompose on heating to produce metal oxide and carbon dioxide. So as an example, we have calcium carbonate. When we heat that, we get calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. In the case of hydroxides, sodium and potassium hydroxide do not decompose on heating. But the hydroxides of metals lower down in electrochemical series decompose on heating to produce the metal oxide and water. As the example, zinc hydroxide when heated produces zinc oxide and water. Metals in living systems. Okay, um, the hemoglobin in red blood cells in the human body is responsible for transporting oxygen. The oxygen is required for respiration. Iron is essential for the production of hemoglobin. Okay, Zinc plays an important role in the way carbon dioxide is removed from the blood. 
chlorophyll is required for green plants to photosynthesize and make simple sugars. Magnesium is essential for the production of chlorophyll in plants. Sodium and potassium are essential for the transmission of nerve impulses in the human body. So you need to be able to give examples of the importance of metals in living systems. Metals and the environment. Pollution. Lead in the environment from car exhaust fumes, disposed lead acid batteries and some types of paints can cause lead poisoning, brain damage and even death. Arsenic, which is used in the mining of zinc and copper. It affects lungs, the liver, the kidney and can result in a coma and even death. Cadmium from nickel cadmium, cadmium batteries, like all our cell phones and all our smart devices these days. And cadmium poisoning can cause chills, fevers, muscle aches, and respiratory problems. And last one is mercury poisoning can cause nervous disorders and even death. All right. Um, basically, the disposal of laboratory thermometers is a problem because the mercury can get into um, living systems. Um, if it makes it to um, like rivers and lakes, the mercury could accumulate in fishes.